Hi everyone, this is Tanguy from HNT Wine Gallery. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. Today we are going to talk about malolactic fermentation or conversion. It is actually not a fermentation as no alcohol is produced. To sum it up, malolactic fermentation or conversion is the transformation that happens in the making of some wines that basically reduces its acidity. It also creates this creamy, buttery, velvety feeling or texture in wine. In a more precise way, it is the grape's malic acid, which is very acidic, that transforms into lactic acid, which is less acidic. The term lactic comes from the Latin root lac or milk, and this lactic acid is the same that we find in milk, which is softer and creamier. This phenomenon happens with the action of lactic bacteria, which is called Oenococcus oeni. While the wine settles in the barrel or tank, this very hungry bacteria will eat the malic acid and defecate lactic acid. The bacteria is also acting when the temperature is warm, with a 16 degrees Celsius and more. So either winemakers have to wait until it is the warm season or spring, but of course some wineries are equipped with tanks that can be heated up in order to allow it to happen when they want it. The malolactic fermentation is mostly done on red wines, and sometimes on white wines. In general, it concerns mainly those aged in oak barrels. For the white wines, it is mainly for Chardonnays and Viognier, especially in the cooler climate regions such as Champagne or Burgundy. However, some winemakers may decide not to proceed with the malolactic fermentation, as acidity is often valued in white wines, bringing freshness and this mouth-watering sensation. Sometimes wines that undergo too much malolactic fermentation are criticized, especially those very heavy buttery style Chardonnays. Having said that, this last one hides or removes the expression of the place where they come from. But I guess it is a matter of taste. If you would like to have your Chardonnay with more butter, or if you prefer it more crisp, it's up to you. And of course, it also depends on what you wish to pair your wine with. But this is another story. So thank you for watching and see you next time for another wine video. Cheers! Thank you for watching this episode and don't forget to subscribe, like and share.